All right, I'm here with Terrence Miller, fresh off his top eight at Peoria Regionals. We're gonna do a deck profile here, so go ahead and uh, explain your choices. You're playing what? Sablezard, right? Like Sablezard, you know, pretty pretty simple stuff. It's a lost box deck. You got four compies. For me, it's five though, because you know I got Ditto. Two Cramorants because Sablezard, you're a little slower. You probably attack with Cramorant every game, and you don't want to prize any, so two. You have three Sableyes. Uh, I still think that uh, Sablezard can chain Sableye better than any other deck because you have three. You know, you got Charizard. I, I would say it's the best single prize attacker that hits for big numbers, really. 250 is pretty good. Manaphy, because you have to, or you just lose. Alucha, you want to try to get a two prize turn against the mirror match because they're probably a little bit quicker than you. Spirit Tomb because this guy right here, these, it's not only for Mew, it's really good for Luminion too, which there's a lot of Luminion seeing play right now. Articuno is another tech, it's for the Gardevoir matchup mainly, but it's pretty good against Maridon here and there, kind of depends if they have Bravery Charm or not. So we're good on this, yeah. Got Supporter choices for Chorus, pretty obvious. It's a you know, it's lost box deck. Two Claras because you want to just pick up your save lives from the discard pile, add them straight to your hand. It's pretty useful for chaining combustion blasts as well. Roxanne, I use it more as like a disruption supporter. I don't typically go, oh, I, I'm so happy I'm, I'm drawing six. It's just I want them to have less cards in their hand. Boss because. I just don't feel comfortable playing no boss, but I'm, I'm recently I've been thinking about it to be honest with you. Raihan, it's nice to be able to search out you know cards like Halucha when you want them to when you want to or like it's pretty good for getting like a little turn earlier attacking with Zard as well. I've done that a lot with it. And items, pretty simple stuff here. Everyone does this. Four VIP pass. It's the best card in the game. Everyone plays four. Best yeah. ball. I'm on four because I like searching out Pokemon. So these are all like, even when you don't start Ditto, these are, you know, you want to maximize on these so you can search it to use Ditto's ability. I have three Fog Crystals. Fog Crystal is really good. The option of searching your Sableye or energy, depending on which piece you're missing, it's very useful to have Fog Crystal. It's Sui and Heavy Ball. You probably stuff sometimes like Charizard or Manaphy. You want to have the you want to be able to get it. I have switches here, switch four switch cards, four ropes. I would say that's pretty standard in Lost Box decks. But I'm also on the two switch because you don't go through your deck kind of, you don't see like, you need to play switches or you don't see your deck because other Lost Box decks have Greninja, so they kind of see more cards. But I, I would say the strength of Sable's art is that you thin better than they do. A lot of people assume that uh, Sable's art gets destroyed by I don't know, but by the time it gets to that point, you only have good cards left in your deck because you've been thinning more aggressively than they do. Like on average, I would have at the end of my game, I would have like 20 cards in the loss zone. Meanwhile, Turbo usually has like 14. Uh, two gears. I find it to be really useful when I play a bunch of random one-off supporters, and also it's helpful to find chorus. Two vacuums. Uh, I chose to go with two instead of three because I didn't expect to play a whole lot of Mirror, like Lost Box really. I, I expected to play a lot of like Charizard or like Maridon. And every other matchup besides Maridon, honestly, Vacuum kind of sucks. So, but I wouldn't play less than two because you really need it for them. One Super Odd. Um, I do play a two Claros, but it's also nice to have a little extra help here. One horn. You kind of need it against like those aggressive Charizard EX decks. It's nice to bring back something, take a quick little prize with Sableye. I'm on three beach courts because it's just the best stadium for Sableye. You don't really need anything else. I play enough ball search that I finding Pokemon is not really an issue. And you don't really care if your opponent uses court or not. You're, you got to use it first, it's fine. Three Psychic Energies. You know, you can search it with Fog Crystal, so you only really need three, and you have Super Odd to shuffle them back, so... And two Fires, only because, you know, if you prize one, it's kind of bad for you. That's it. So now, you got top eight. Is there anything that you would change going forward? Are you going to play in Sacramento? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if I'll play Sable's Artist Stack. I, I might. If 
I do, I kind of want to Iono. Because good Lost Box players know how to play around Roxanne. And, dude, honestly, I'm, I might even play Freshwater Set. <laughs> dude, I'm not, I'm not even joking, dude. I'm not even joking. Like, there's so many turns where you're just like, if, if I just Freshwater Set right now, I, I win. Because it kind of takes away the potential two price turn with Sableye on, the, on their turn. Because you don't always have like your switch cards exactly when you want them, you know? But if that one fresh water, it's like there's like two things with 20, oh, that's it, you win. But <laughs> I'm still thinking about it, I guess. Yeah. Well, if you do, then it's probably your last top eight. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like fresh water, so? Dude. I mean, think of it like this. I literally only lost to Arc Dura because they had triple velocity, which is like, who plays that deck? That's not, that's not real. But then as, outside of that, I only lost the Lost Box in the entire tournament. And there's a couple turns where I'm just like, bro, where's my other Switch card? You know, it's like... And my opponents always drew out of Roxanne too. Well, the one, that, the only guy that I lost to did. So that's just how it is. I guess. The the eventual champion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Losing to Raymond twice. Yeah, he he was uh, he was good. He was good at the he was good at the mirror. That's why that's that's why it makes me want to go. I kind of wish I had Iono because I feel like he was doing whatever he wanted to do, and then he would take a prize, and then I would Roxanne him. But it just didn't matter because he set up a board state that wasn't affected by Roxanne. Well, so if you're not thinking about Sablezard for Sacramento, what are you thinking about? Probably like Mariah. Dude, that deck's real. People keep <laughs> disrespecting it, and it keeps top eighting constantly. It has a lot of like hundred zero matchups. Like, I think Mariah's very good. All right. Well, I appreciate you doing this for us, and sure. we'll see you at Sacramento. Thanks. Hopefully, another top eight. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah.